Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Funko Fair Day One. So let's get started. Also, before we get into the video, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying the video, consider subscribing because it's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So for today's Funko Fair, there was actually two major things that happened. The first thing was is that we actually got to see the episode five of Fun TV, where they did a sneak peek of pretty much everything that's gonna be happening over the course of the nine days of Funko Fair. And then the other thing that they talked about today was all of the Star Wars releases, and then they also sprinkled in a couple random ones like some soda cats as well as some other paka paka stuff and some sodas so first let's react to that fun tv fun yeah. fun tv fun tv fun tv fun tv Hi everybody, welcome to this special edition of Funko Fun TV. We're here at the Funko Fair. As you guys know, New York Toy Fair was canceled this year, but we got nine amazing days at the Funko Fair, showing you sneak peeks of products you've never seen before. I'm super excited. As a matter of fact, Brian, I have the map right here. Okay, check this out. All right, guys, I want to pause it right now because this looks like this is going to be the schedule for all nine days. And if you look in the bottom left corner there, it says that today was opening day, and then day two is anime, day three is sports and games, day four is Marvel, day five is movies, day six is TV, day seven is animation, day eight is Disney, and day nine is music in DC. And we're going to be talking about all of them here on this channel. But also, I really enjoyed that they made it look like a map that you could find in Disneyland or Disney World. And you can see they made a really cool map of what a Funko Fair Park would look like, and I'm just a huge fan of it. But anyways, let's keep going here because this video is kind of long. Is this one of those high-speed roller coaster kind of thingy rides? Well, gee whiz, mister, I don't really know. It's my first day. Welcome to the sneak peek ride at the Funko Fair. Don't forget to keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. Also, remember, if it ain't Funko, it ain't fun. This ain't so bad. Pretty nice. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy our first stop. How many of you love the sweet sound of music? Cause music makes us smile. Cause we're gonna melt your face off with pop, rock, and roll! Let's rock! <laughs> rock out with your pop out! Fred Michael! That's the guy from... Oh! For the new Aaliyah Pop! Aaliyah? I, I got excited. I don't know who that is. I know who Brett Michaels is. Who's Aaliyah? Some of you guys are gonna get mad at me for that one. Oh no! It's D E V O! Devo! By Funko! Devo? Yeah, those are. <laughs> yes, we did it again! Welcome one more time! Britney Spears Pops! Britney Spears! Thank you! Hey, good night! Now I'm gonna pause it right there. We've only seen four different things, but that does look like some really cool Rocks Funko Pops that I know a lot of people are gonna enjoy. And they've made a bunch of different Britney Spears in the past, but I feel like that one might be the best one. I don't know, I did like the snake in the other one. That was kind of cool. Jeez. <laughs> if you like those Power Pops, you're gonna love some of the other rockin' releases coming your way throughout the Funko Fair. Party on, fanatics! Hold on, I just unpaused, but I have to pause again because it looks like they've got all three of the Fallout Boy on the right side there, and then they also have, whoa, Richie Cunningham from ooh, what, what, Happy Days. I almost forgot about there. I tried to think of a band. Richie Cunningham, Julius Irving, and Mookie Betts. Now those, those are some cool pops right there. I thought this was a kiddie ride. Dude, that's about as calm of a ride as it gets. What, you don't think I can handle it? I'm badass. You can handle it if you can. Buckle up, passengers. You're about to enter Soda World. B 
Behold, Soda World. Experience the wonder, the mystery, the magic, the fun. Look, look, there's the werewolf from Scooby-Doo. Oh, wow. He gone from Ghostbusters. Okay guys, I guess we can pause here to show these two. Both of them are cool. We've got Egon Spangler. His head is really tall, but I guess he's a bit of a taller character as it is. And then we also have the werewolf from Scooby-Doo. And that was the one that we talked about the other day that I thought it was, and I guess it was the werewolf soda from Scooby-Doo. Now we just need a Shaggy and a Scooby soda and a Fred and a Velma and a Daphne. Why are they starting with this one? Either way, it's still a cool figure. Oh, and there's my favorite Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, and there's Rosie from the Jetsons. Oh my gosh, I love this place. Now the Beetlejuice one makes sense. Beetlejuice is the main character, but then Rosie. They still need to make all of the other ones from the show. Why are they, why are they doing this one out of the Jetsons first? I don't know, again, they do like to do the more obscure characters for the sodas. I just wish they would do some of the main characters as well. But like I said, they're still cool. And hey, Chris, my favorite breakfast cereal ever. Like that too. Hey, look, there's you hitting me over the head with a. Come on, man. What the heck? How much did that cost you? Surprisingly, not that much. Check out all the new soda releases throughout the nine days of the fair. It's refreshingly fun for the whole family. Oh, 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 guys, we have three more sodas here. We've got the Tick, we've got the Fearless Leader, as well as All Might, and all three of these are great. I don't remember what Fearless Leader's from. Is it a Hanna-Barbera thing? I'm not sure, but the tick looks cool, and I know a lot of you guys really do like All Might as well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready for the most anticipated releases in Funko history? This should be good. Let's ride the WWE Pop Experience! Stone Cold Steve Austin! Now that's what I call rock. Okay guys, I wanted to pause for a second for two things. I think that that actual, what's it called? A stage or the ring? That right there I think is also a Funko thing. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be coming inside of a bigger like box, perhaps a moment, a wrestling moment. And also, Mike's gotta be more careful with that Star Wars box because there's probably something special inside of there. Introducing the new WWE Funko Pops and the Raw Ring and many, many more to be announced this week. Again, literally two seconds later after I mentioned it, there they are standing inside of the ring and then they also have a couple other ones coming as well. So that'd be cool. I know there are a lot of WWE fans out there so I'm sure you guys are gonna love these. What the heck's that? It's like the poncho. <laughs> you don't need that. What a sissy. Godzilla vs. King Kong Experience Ride へようこそ。炎と水しぶきをたっぷり受ける、ちょっぴり危険なライドです。Oh, what? I wonder what they said. Uh, probably just like fun for everyone all over the world or something like that. Yeah, probably. Can I want to pause right there? I don't think he said fun for everyone all around the world, but also, is this going to be anime? But it also, uh, I don't know. I don't want to, okay, let me, let's, let's not guess. Let's just get into it. Doesn't seem so bad. Whoa! Oh, ah! My glasses. Yeah. I was right about Godzilla! Yes, okay, that is cool. It looks like that might be a six inch figure. If it is, I definitely want to pick that one up. I mean, I'm gonna get it anyways, but I feel like a three inch is too small. It's gotta be at least a six inch. Oh! God! Oh! Is that King of Kong? Right, we were right about both of them, guys. Everybody guessing did get King Kong and Godzilla. This is an amazing pop. Much better than the last one, I will say. I do have the one from King Kong Kong Skull Island. It's a cool figure. It's just this one, this one looks a little bit more detailed. I really do like this. 
We hope you enjoyed the Godzilla King Kong Colossal Pop Experience. You can get these 10-inch Mega Pops plus more from the new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie coming soon. They're not just 6 inches, they're 10 inches tall! Oh my gosh, that is a game changer right there. Oh, I can't wait till we can do a King Kong vs. Godzilla Funko Pop hunt. They're gonna be like this big! Oh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, okay, let's keep watching. Hey, you got that box I gave you? Yes, I do. Right here. Safe and sound. Jeez. All right. Here you go, man. Hey, thanks for the great ride, and uh, man, I wish the box was in better shape, but you know, our friend didn't do a really good job of taking care of it. Wow. This Star Wars box is not for sale. It is just a prop. Come on! I was all excited about getting this really cool wooden Star Wars box with maybe some like crazy figure in it, and then they pull that. Yeah, well, let's see what's inside. Gee whiz! This is all the new Star Wars keychains and the Luke Skywalker Hoth Pop. Awesome! So we get a bunch of great Star Wars stuff on Funko Fair Day One. So make sure you check all of it out, okay? I will check it out. Come on, let's go. Okay guys, so that is pretty cool, and I don't think they've ever made the original characters into Pocket Pops. So it looks like we are getting a Darth Vader and a Boba Fett at least, and then we also have the Luke Skywalker Hoth. Now, I think they've already made that pop before, but it looks like a different box, so maybe they changed up something else? I'm not too sure, but also, it's got an Amazon exclusive sticker, and do you guys see it's not on the left, no, it's not on the right side of the box, it's as close to the left side as possible, so maybe there's like a mini thing inside of there? I'm not sure but it does look cool and I'll definitely get one to show you guys closer up when it does come out. Oh yeah, Mike, pop people. You can go to our either our Everett or our Hollywood store, build your own pop, put whatever kind of custom accessories you want, put it in a box with your name on it. It is awesome and you're gonna be able to build it online this year as well from anywhere around the world, customize your own pop and we'll send it to you. It's gonna be a fantastic experience. Did you hear that? Let me rewind that real quick. From anywhere around the world, customize your own pop and we'll send it to you. It's gonna be a fantastic experience. Online as well. Does that mean, hold on. Anywhere around the world. Anywhere in the world! Anybody's gonna be able to pop themselves. Okay, that is a game changer right there. I know a lot of people were sad that it was only at the two stores and now it could possibly be anywhere in the world. <sighs> That's cool. I do like that. Okay, I've been saying everything's cool today, but that is really neat. So I'm going to be able to... Oh, great. Now I can gift anybody their own Funko Pop. That That's going to be a good gift. It'll be cool. Christmas 2021, there's going to be a lot of Pop peoples coming to a lot of people that I know. You're going to be getting your own Pop... A anyways, let's continue. So there you have it. Funko Fair, Sneak Peek Tour. What a great, great show. Mike, what'd you think? Yeah. I guess so, but you know, I still think that Godzilla ride was a bit much. Wait, 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 why am I only popped here? When are you popping yourself? All right guys, so that was Fun TV episode five and I hope you guys enjoyed that. There was a lot of really crazy stuff to take in there and they also had mentioned that they were gonna be showing off a lot of Star Wars stuff day one. So let's take a look at that over on their Instagram. All right guys, so this is the first thing that they showed off for Funko Fair 2021 and because everything Star Wars, they started with the Star Wars Pocket Pops and like I mentioned earlier, they had never made Star Wars Pocket Pops before of the original characters. So here is a bunch of them right here. I really do enjoy all of these. And then the next one is a bunch of the Mandalorian ones. We are getting three different versions of the child. We're getting two different versions of the Mandalorian and just a lot of really great pocket pops overall. And you guys know I love to collect the pocket pops, so I will definitely be getting some of these right here. Oh, okay guys, so this is the next thing here. This is the Luke on Hoth Amazon exclusive. So it is the exact same pop, but they're adding the pop and pin there. So that is pretty cool. It's kind of like the pop around the world, but maybe they'll be doing it with more Star Wars ones. And if they do, I would love to pick them up. And maybe it would be cool if they made like a, oh, this would be neat. What if they made their own passport and it was like different planets you could get different pins from? That could be cool. 
And then guys, they have another mystery mini set coming out, and this one here is the Mandalorian, and there is a lot of really great mystery minis here, and if you guys would like to see me open up an entire case of these when they do come out, let me know. All right guys, so the next thing that they've got here is pop pins. So we are getting a Han Solo and Carbonite, we're getting a Lando Calrissian in his skiff outfit, we're also getting the, it's Princess Leia as a bounty hunter. I don't remember exactly which bounty hunter it is, is it Boosh? Boosh Leia, I think it is, I'm not too sure. But then we also have the Jabba the Hutt and Chase, and I'm not too sure what the Chase is. Is it like a kind of like glow in the dark maybe? Or is it different colors? I don't know, if you guys know what it is, please let me know because it looks very similar to the common version. And these here guys are just concepts, so I'm sure when we actually see them in person or when they officially reveal these, like saying that they're coming soon, I'm sure we'll be able to tell what the difference is. But for now, they're both kind of just concept arts, so they look very similar. And now next up guys, we have some Star Wars Valentine's Day pops. Now these right here are some really cool ones and it looks like that R2-D2 is going to be a Funko Shop exclusive and every single one of them is holding a heart-shaped box of chocolates. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, if it isn't obvious, they are all red and pink as well. And now here is five really cool pops right here, guys. We have two new Ray ones. We have an Emperor Palpatine with lightning, and then we also have a Kylo Ren. Oh, and I can't forget the 10-inch Babu Freak. All of these look amazing, and I'm definitely gonna be getting that Babu Freak when he does come out, because I've been wanting that size of Babu Freak for a long time, because that right there is gonna be cool. I'm pretty sure he's like life-size, maybe, or at least he's close to life-size, because if you guys have seen the movie, he is a pretty small guy, so maybe he's 10 inches tall? It's probably about that. I know guys, that was it for the Star Wars stuff, but we do have a couple other random things that they showed off as well. So we have the Beetlejuice soda, we also have the All Might soda, and we have the werewolf ones. Now these three we actually did see throughout the Fun TV video, so I'm guessing that's why they showed it today. And then they also announced a bunch of Paka Paka stuff, but not the Paka Paka mystery balls, it was a bunch of other stuff. So they did t-shirts as well as plush. Now these right here, I know my mom is really excited about because she was trying to get all of the different Soda Cat figures, and now they're making Soda Cat plush as well. Now I don't know if she's gonna get all of them, but I do definitely want her to get that middle one there. Is it Meowton Dew? I think it's Meowton Dew, I'm pretty sure. No, it is Mountain Mew, that's what it is. I saw it on the actual front of the plush there. And then we also have a couple t-shirts, and it looks like all of the t-shirts are going to be exclusive to GameStop, so if you want to get those, you're going to have to go there to get them. Yes. Yes, you will. And then guys, last but not least, we have two things from Harry Potter. We have the Patronuses for both Snape and Dumbledore, and both of these look amazing. I have got every single Patronus so far. I think I have, what would it be? Harry's, Hermione's, and Ron's I have so far, and now they're coming out with these two right here, and both of them look great. And well, all right guys, that is all of the stuff that they showed off today, but before we get out of here, let's spin the wheel. All right guys, so let's spin this wheel and see which pops we get today. Here we go. Rides! That's a fun one. All right guys, so the pop that I went with today is the Pizza Planet truck with Buzz Lightyear. Now this one here is a New York Comic Con 2018 exclusive, and the reason I chose this one is because this is the only pop ride where the Funko Pop is tiny inside of there. Do you guys see that? In the front seat right there, there is Buzz driving this Pizza Planet truck. I just think it is such a cool pop ride. And also, a little fun fact about the Pizza Planet truck is that this Pizza Planet truck is in every single Pixar film. I'm not kidding, look it up. But Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow for Funko Fair Day 2. Dripping like a school. It's gonna fall with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Cool. B5 full thump. I'm a hump. On a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lassie.